This week on the channel, I'm still exploring the outskirts of the Peak District National Park and I've another little mountain bike gem for you. This one's about 10 minutes drive from last week's video location where I rode the amazing Stanage Plantation Trail. Today, I'm here at Lady Canning's Plantation. This is a small piece of woodland just outside Sheffield. It's home to two custom-made blue graded mountain bike trails, cooking on gas and blue steel. Both these trails have a gravel surface and really do well to be as interesting as possible. Between the trails is a nice easy fire road that leads to the start of both trails and this is where we're going to start our adventure. This fire road climb is pretty easy and can't take more than 10 minutes from bottom to top. Making a left at the top you come to cooking on gas. So let's get going. This is a great trail to warm up on and you'll see why as we make our way down. This trail feels like a good explore through the woodland. Cooking on gas is the longer of the two trails and is around 1.6 kilometers. It's also the easier of the two trails, but this is by no means boring. Being a blue graded trail, I thought this would be a good place to try my hardtail, and I wasn't wrong. Lady Canning's plantation had a bit of a trail overhaul a few years back, and now these trails are official. This place is designed for beginner and intermediate riders. The idea is that you come here to build up your skills and then you can go and ride some of the harder trails that the Peak District has to offer. That being said, these trails are fun. There are plenty of berms, rollers, small drops, funky rocks and all sorts of features to ride. If you've got a couple of hours to kill and you're just looking to get out and ride, then this is a good place to come. Considering how small Lady Canning's plantation is, I was really surprised at how long these trails are. You get a decent ride. For a blue trail, cooking on gas has been well thought out. It cuts a great line through the forest, winding around the trees on some rocky berms. It feels really playful as you ride along, and to be honest, it was quite a chilled out ride. With a total descent of just over 50 meters, this isn't the steepest or fastest trail that you'll ever ride. You'll have to put in a fair few pedal strokes to maintain good speed, but this isn't some downhill center. These are essentially two random trails on the outskirts of the Peak District. Considering where you are, these are great training options. Coming to the end, I could definitely feel my legs after that run. But once you've ridden the slower trail, you need to make your way back up to the top again. It's time to see what Lady Cannings is all about with a run down Blue Steel. This is actually quite a fast trail and there are a few bits that can catch you out. This is just as well built and interesting as cooking on gas, but with that extra speed, the rock features and corners pack a bit more of a punch. Let's drop in. In today's conditions, the first 20 meters were a bit muddy, but by the time you come to the end of the first berm, you're all good to go. Blue Steel is 1.4 kilometers long, and it's an action-packed trail that picks up speed fast. This was actually the first crowd-funded trail in Europe, and the whole of Lady Cannings has been made possible through fundraising and donation efforts. Money well spent in my opinion. It feels like there's never a dull moment on this trail. You're constantly darting between the trees, hitting berms and navigating rocks. This top section flows well and is really fast. I love riding these fast woodland trails like this. There's something about riding at breakneck speeds through close forests that really appeals to me. Once you get to know this trail, I can imagine that you'd be extremely quick at riding it. But I bet a few of these corners have claimed a rider or two in their time. Considering the speed that you go on this trail, I wouldn't fancy falling off. The trail lower down is actually made of pretty chunky rocks, so in my opinion, a close encounter with the ground is probably best avoided. That being said, you can ride these trails as fast or as slow as you like. As I mentioned before, these were designed as a way to practice your skills, so every feature on here is rollable. Blue Steel is clearly a trail that's suitable for experienced riders, but this is also a place where you can bring older kids or somewhere novice riders can actually have a lot of fun. Both of these trails are a great showcase for how blue trails should be built, and also what's possible with a small piece of land and only 50 meters of descent. Comparing Blue Steel to the likes of the Sherwood Pines downhill trails, hands down, I know which one I'd rather ride. With such a quick fire road climb back to the top, it's easy to find yourself having an extra couple of runs to end the day. Well, that was way better than I thought it would be. That was great fun. I'm doing that again. So despite it being absolutely freezing here today, the trails are running amazingly. There's a few wet patches in a few places, but this is the UK and this is winter. Um, I don't know what I was expecting before I came here today, but this place is amazing. It's true, for a couple of blue trails, I was really surprised at how much fun I had here. 
So some of the more eagle-eyed viewers amongst you may have noticed that I changed bikes between the trails. This is nothing to do with the trails or the bikes. It's all because when I originally rode here a few weeks ago, my GoPro was having issues, as they do, and it decided it wasn't going to film any of Blue Steel. So as I was passing on my way to Stanage for last week's video, I popped back in and completed the run. Originally I thought that the trails would be tame on a full suspension bike, but that really wasn't the case. I was surprised to find that it was just as much fun as it was riding my hardtail. So I hope you enjoyed this visit to the Mini Trail Centre. Next time you're passing, I recommend that you pop in for an hour. Thanks for watching, see you next time.